Alright guys, welcome back to another Nifty Network video. Today I'm going to show you how to remove your intake on a G35 coupe or G35 sedan. First things first is we're going to undo the battery. Um, I always like to do it. It's kind of just like a, a safety thing. Uh, just always make sure the battery's undone. It's a 10, 10 for the ground. So obviously lefty loosey. Get that loosened up. Give that a little twist. And also when you pull the battery off, make sure to push the terminal out because those wires kind of have a memory to them. They'll want to pop back up and set on there. I've had that happen. So just kind of push it out of the way and we'll get to the positive right now. And same thing, once it's loose, just give it a little wiggle, pop that up and pop that over. If it doesn't want to stay, I'll take the battery cover and I'll set it like that just so that it, it doesn't set back on the positive. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to get your intake off. First things first, we're gonna get a panel popper. This guy right here. And there's supposed to be two on here. This one only has one. So we're gonna pop that little panel popper out of there or pop that pin clip, whatever you wanna call it. Set this to the side and then work your way up. And then we're gonna see that we have a 10 mil holding on the air box. So take that off. So there's normally two clips right there. Pop those two clips out. And then work your way up. You see that there is a, um, a clamp right here. Loosen that to where you can move it around. And then we're gonna go to the engine cover. There is four tens on that. And pop that up, I'm gonna put this over here. All right, so now that we got the uh, engine cover off, I'm gonna see another clamp right here. And on these clamps, you don't have to get the screw out of it. Um, if you look at it, it, it moves enough to where you can leave that on there and then you don't lose anything. So get these two loose and you're gonna work your way up. And then there is a flathead or an eight millimeter um, hose clamp up here. I don't know why they don't put a 10 on it, but that's just how it goes. We'll do that one. And then there's also one more right here. Um, it may be kind of tricky to see. Definitely tricky to see because I can barely get it. All right, so once you see that loosen up on there, that's good. And then we're gonna grab um, needle nose pliers and we're gonna remove the uh, hose that goes to the back of the valve cover. So pop that loose and now we can start digging stuff out of here. Uh, undo this clip and then slide off the, the rubber boot on the air box. If it's really tough, don't force it by pulling on it because these are old and they will break. So just get a flathead in there and kind of work it. Once it's freed up, it will come off. And you can push this back a little bit. It'll help you. So once that's off, you can come up to the air box. And this, this does have some pressure on it because it sets into the frame rail. So get that boot out of the way on the underside and I'll lift this straight off. Uh, there's these two locating dowel pins on the air box and those sit right here. There's one grommet right there and one grommet right there. They are, uh, they just press in. Once you get that off, we can go to the upper part of the intake. We already got the hose clamp off. So let's just work this like that. If it doesn't wanna go, you can get um, needle nose pliers and just pry it back. Like I said, be easy. These things are getting old. And once you're there, you just pull it straight forward. There's going to be a box on the bottom of this um, that is kind of a pain to work with. And then that comes straight up like that. And then if uh, if you have a, if this hose back here on your intake is cracked, I'm going to show you how to get that off really quick. Um, there is a hose clamp back there. But if you take a pry bar and you gently tap forward, it will come right off. Don't be forceful with it because uh, you don't want to break your valve cover. But this clamp, this clamp really never does anything. And you can put it back on without even moving the clamp. 
So I always just get a um, pry bar and I'll just gently tap it right there and it slides right off. And there you go. That is how you remove an intake on a G35 coupe or G35 sedan.